Well, I got up fairly early today and decided I better go get some food for the camp. So I went out and got a couple deer, turned them into the camp cook, and uh, decided to get my chores done early. Got all the chores done except for one. I got one left to do. Miss Grimshaw. I am mighty glad to be out of that cold, Mr. Morgan. Me too. Oh, I am getting too old for this gallivant. <laughs> <laughs> Me too. All right, all I had left to do was the water. So let's grab that. And then we'll get out of camp and get some things done today, hopefully. I get stir crazy around here. I gotta get out and do something. And they're expecting me to, so I seem to be the only ones doing any work. Miss, can I get a sip of that? Come on, please, just one sip. All right, here, make it quick. Tilly? your lot. Listen, you couldn't give me a blanket or, or a dry pair of boots, could you? Sure. You want a bottle of champagne with that too coming right up? <laughs> oh, God. My lady. Good morning, Arthur. Have a lovely meal, folks. And that we will. We had to do something about him, but it's not my problem. I gotta feed the camp and make the money and all that kind of stuff. Let's see. Uh, gosh, I got so many things to do. I don't know where to start. We could talk to Uncle, I guess. Um, we've got to go into Valentine and um, talk with Javier. And we've got Hosea. I don't know where he's at. In the middle of the wilderness over there. And then we've got the gunslingers to deal with. Let's start right here in the camp. We'll go talk to Uncle. You lazy lout, get up. He's been there for days, I'm telling you. Wake up. Uncle, wake up. Ow! 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 Careful not to work yourself to death there, Uncle. I was thinking. Yeah, does it pay well? <laughs> Eventually. So, while the rest of us are busy stealing, killing, lying, fighting to try to survive, you get to think all day. Well, it's a strange world we live in, Arthur Morgan. Hey, you want to head into town? See if we can find anything out. <laughs> sure. I got some errands to run. Great. Go check the horses are ready. <laughs> you gonna take the old man into town? You take us too? Well, what you got planned? Nothing. We'll find something for y'all to do. We always do. We're bored out of our minds. Been cooped up here for two weeks now. Karen's about ready to murder Grimshaw. <laughs> well, can Miss Grimshaw spare you? <sighs> can Miss Grimshaw spare you? What's happened to you, Arthur? Three young, healthy women want you to take them a rob, and you're worried about house chores. Let's go. Fair enough. You got me. Come on, then. <laughs> I can't believe we're going to see civilization. Feels like weeks since we did. Yeah, Valentine. <laughs> Very embodiment of civilization. <laughs> Ladies are going to love it. Okay, then. Let's go. Out through the trees here, then take a left. Yep. <laughs> Off to Valentine we are. See if I can get Uncle to do something. Lady, sing us a song. <laughs> I got a girl in Fairyville. Can't be screwed because she's too damn ill. So I don't go down there no more. There's a blue horse laying outside her door. I had a girl in Valentine. Likes to drink that fancy wine. Blue in her hat was two feet tall. 
Come right here. It's quicker. Good God. You guys have made Uncle blush. Right through his beard. Man, that stagecoach in a hurry. What the hell? Look at that coach. He's all over the place. Oh, oh, shit, the horses. Damn horses. Is one of you going to get that fella's horse? Oh, I got lumbago. It's very serious. Oh, my God. All right. All right, I'll see what's going on. Lumbago, really? You all right there, friend? Oh, hey, you couldn't help me get my other horse back from over there, could you? Sure. Sure, no problem. Thanks. It's the white one over there. Well, here I am, horse whispering again. All right, calm down. Let me study him. Okay, we got his information. Calm down. Calm down, you big brute, you. Calm down. Well, he calmed down pretty quick. He's either dirty or he's not really white. He might just be dirty. I mean, his tail's white. Gentlemen, sir. A gentleman. No, not really. I was just trying to impress the women. <laughs> well, anyway, thank you. No, you're welcome. Come on, let's go. To Valentine. <laughs> <laughs> you're turning into a regular old fairy godmother there, Arthur. What's that supposed to mean? It means you got a heart. A small one, perhaps, hidden deep inside, but a real one. And you haven't, your pulse of old lizard. Well, lizards have hearts. Well, Arthur, I'm proud of you. To be honest, if you not hadn't been here, I probably would have robbed him. <laughs> <laughs> well, you did it. <laughs> I was thinking about it. Oh, my God, that guy's getting pulled by the train. Oh, he made it up. He made it up. I thought he was caught. Alright, I gotta leave leave this guy some room to get around us, I guess. Hey, mister. Woo! Howdy. Smell Boy, those partner. sheep. <laughs> or is that uncle? <laughs> <laughs> oh, very funny. Well, it was, a, like a it was a good man. observation and a good Other question. People, finally. Look at all that snow on the mountains. Sure don't want to be back up there. You think we should have asked Molly to come with us? Oh, no. Miss O'Shea is far too high and mighty now for the likes of us. Or to do any real work. She's a society lady now. Sounded like Uncle. Okay. Take a good look around, ladies. See what we got here. Well, let's see the reference on b booze and drugs. Uncle's got lumbago. Left here, down the main street. Bears always on the right. Sure, you can pick up some bounties there, Arthur. Heaven forbid you put your head on the line. Yeah, well, that's a young man's game. <laughs> Ooh, yes. We can get up to some mischief here, all right. Just remember, keep a low profile. Will you remember that, though, Arthur? Probably not. Let's park up down the end there, near the stables. 
All right, we can pull up by the stables here. Watch out for the guy with the saddle. All right, here we are, just like I said, cultural center of civilization. <laughs> Man at his finest. Uncle, what are we doing? Well, we're gonna do what any self-respecting maniac does. Put the women to work. <laughs> With pleasure. We'll start at the saloon. Okay, just stay out of trouble and don't get yourselves noticed. Right, I need to get something from the stores. Okay, well, we'll see you at the general store when you're done. Come on, ladies. Imagine we're in Paris. Come on. I imagine Paris and So that's how you see yourself, is it? A maniac? Well, in my youth, I used to be known as the one-shot kid. <laughs> the one-shot okay. kid? You mean with I'm women? I'm gonna ask why. You are a sad man, Arthur Morgan. But I know you love me. Desperately. You're my favorite parasite. No. Ringworm's my favorite parasite. You're my second favorite parasite. Very funny. I lied. Ringworm. Then, rats with the plague. Then you. Shut up. It's the place now. Come on. Morning. So, what do you need? Hell, a drop of whiskey for a start. You know, something to pass the time while we're waiting on the women. Always thinking ahead, ain't you? You're looking a bit tired there, Arthur. Why don't you pick up some coffee while we're here? Full stock list in the catalog here on the counter. Whiskey's on the top shelf, nearest the door. All right, well, we'll buy a couple coffees. I think I've already got a can. If you're done, I'll meet you outside. I won't be too long. Yeah, I've already got a can because I can only hold three. But I don't have any way to cook the coffee, so let's see if we got what, what, what we have in the catalog. Provisions, tonics, ammunition, hunting and fishing, horse care, and clothing. Where would it be? Hunting and fishing? So... You're actually buying for once? Are you feeling all right? See this? Young folk got no respect for their elders no more. What do you reckon? The lamb or the sausage? Well, this here's a sheep town. The lamb's the best in the state. Well, there we go. The smell is. Well, that's a ripe cheese, all right. All right, there we go. Coffee. And then let's buy a gun oil. It's good to have one. And uh, get another one. It's only a buck and a half. It's all done. Thank you kindly. All right. Ah, this should do the trick. Yep, that's fine whiskey. There you go. Thank you, sir. That should do us. Let's go wait for them outside. All the best, fellas. Oh, here's to your good health, sir. <laughs> and to being down here off that mountain. Absolutely. It's a funny world, you know. There goes Karen my career, with some guy I in tow. I myself being married to an heiress. Gentlemen, I think I got something good. What? What? I snuck into this fancy house. Acted like a servant girl. Usually works. Someone was saying her sister was taking a trip from New York or someplace. Train full of rich tourists heading to San Denis and then cruising off to Brazil. Okay. A train laden with baggage and passing through a bit of deserted country at night as to get to the docks in time for the tides in some place called Scarlet Meadows. Yeah, I know it. Yeah, yeah, it's right out near New Hanover. <laughs> right, it's real quiet out there. Sounds good. Uh, Where's Tilly and Karen? I think at the hotel. They were picking up some drunken fellas that they was gonna rob. Why? Seemed easy. They have been gone for quite a while. I guess I'll go see if there's any trouble. Oh, there's Tilly over there. That does not look ideal. Excuse me. Get your hands off me. You thought I wouldn't find you, Tilly. Huh? You can go kiss a damn snake for all I care. Get off me. Get off of me. I've been looking. Get your hands off of her. Who are you? A friend of mine. Get the hell off of her, you son of a bitch. Hey, hey, take it easy. There's no problem here. There will be if you don't get out of here right now. 
You're making a big mistake, Tilly Jackson. Just get lost. I ain't doing this with you right now. Go wait with Uncle and Mary Beth. They're across the street. Okay. Thanks, Arthur. Okay. Uncle! Look after her! I'm gonna go see about Karen in the hotel. Okay, she's not alone. I saw her dragging some guy out of the saloon. Guess they didn't need to know that. Okay, then. I've heard. Can I help you, sir? Yeah, I'm looking for somebody. I'm looking for a girl who came in here earlier with a drunk feather. Mid-twenties, blonde. You'd remember her. Yeah, they're in 2B upstairs. Are you uh, a friend of his? A friend of hers. Okay, so 2B. Did I ever clean that one gun? Maybe I better not do it down here. He might think I'm trying to rob him. No trouble now, please. Oh, I wouldn't dream of it. Well, get the hell out of here, will oh, you? shoot. Sorry. Wrong way. Sorry, buddy. Holy smokes. Oh, he sounds like he's having trouble in there. Hang on. Let's, uh... I didn't see that that was 2A. I'm getting what I paid for. Hey! Hey, you! A friend of hers. Get out of here, buddy. I paid. I ain't paid a hitter, you goddamn animal. Come here! I paid for nothing. Uh. Think you two could say I am making all my time. What the hell are you doing here? Trying to play him? Not very well. You okay? Fine. You sure? Yeah. Nothing. Nothing to worry about. Just men. But stupid bastard. Stupid bastard was boasting about the bank. The bank? Sure, I know small town banks are usually a waste of time, but. This is a livestock town. There's lots of cash sometimes. Okay. Keep investigating. I will. Yeah, everything's just fine. No trouble at all. After you. Have a good day. Thank you, Arthur. I don't much like being saved, but when I have to be. I understand. You okay? Sure. He only punched me. <sighs> Arthur punched him a lot harder. All right, then. Hey, who's that guy over there looking at us? Weren't you in Blackwater a few weeks back? Me? No, sir. Ain't from there. Oh, you were. Well, I definitely saw you with a bunch of fellers. Me? No. Impossible. Listen, buddy, come here for a minute. I saw you. Come here. Come on, get... Oh, great. I don't like this. Me neither. Go get the girls home. I'm gonna go have a word with our friend. Be careful, Arthur. Just a word. Yeah. Just it. I'll be back. Stay away from me. Get back just, here right just now. borrow, just borrow it. Oh God, look out! What? Mister, please, I'm sorry. Where in the hell is he going? Oh crap! You look like you're in a predicament here. How you doing down there? Help someone! Why are you telling lies about me? No, no. I, I, I got it wrong, partner. I got it very wrong. Now please help me up. I ain't never been in black water. Then why are you chasing me? I've got an unfortunate face. Yes, yes, me too. <laughs> now please pull me up. Please. Please. All right. Come on. Did I just step on his hand? Ouch. You okay, partner? No. No, I am not. I'm a mess. Well, you ain't dead. No, that's a good point. There is that. Jimmy Brooks. 
I think it's best for both of us if we pretend this never happened. Well, I agree. You saved my life. You're a good man, and I, uh... Here. You want a pen? It's one of them steel ones. Oh. That's very kind of you. <laughs> but I'm not a good man, Jimmy Brooks. Not usually. You see, I was in Blackwater. I killed people. And maybe I should have killed you. Should I have killed you, Jimmy Brooks? Me? I never saw you. Not, not now, not, not never. I think we have an understanding. Of course we do. Jimmy Brooks. <laughs> I will remember that. I've got a good memory. I haven't. I haven't. Not, not one lick. Not one sense in this year old mind. Come on. Come on. You have a nice day now, sir. Yeah. <laughs> Poor guy. Scared the shit out of me. Let's go, girl. But we did save his life. Nobody got hurt. I hope I'm not uh, going to get uh, right into town and get uh, accused of stealing a horse. That would not be pleasant. Hey! My horse! Whew. Am I glad to see you! Here's your horse back, friend. Oh, you really were just borrowing it. Yep. Appreciate it. I really was just borrowing it. Oh, jeez. Howdy, sir. Howdy. Trust your gut, folks. Step right up. Hello there. Howdy, partner. Thanks. Well, I guess while we're here, we don't have a horse to get home. Uh, let's go see what Javier's up to. You hear the law was taking money from some road agents? They got caught because they robbed one of them back. Road agent. God, dude, look at these streets. Hand over all your money now. What? Quick. Oh shit. Carry on like that. You're gonna do something. You'll dress. Why did it do that? Please forget this. Yeah. Why did that? What? Good. My fighting days are behind me anyway. Uh-oh. Another round. <laughs> hey, all right, there we go. Oh, Arthur, Arthur, come here, come here. Come over here, I want you to meet our friends. <laughs> Pleased to meet you. Well, ain't you just a tough as teak mountain man? Oh, you be quiet, Anastasia. Anyone can tell this one is a pussy cat. Exactly, yes, he's a pussy cat. Ain't that so, Arthur? Whatever you say. How much you cost, anyway? Well, ain't that a nice way to talk to a lady? Oh, I didn't know I was talking to a lady. Excuse me. Well, I must say, you got a fine way with the women, amigo. Yeah, regular dandy and a charm. <laughs> Where's Bill? Oh, man, I dread to think about it. And hey, speak hey, of the hey. devil. There he is. Watch where you're going. Take it Are easy, Are you about pal. to kiss that guy or punch him? Oh, and we have oh boy, here we go. Ow. Okay, dang it. Come on, Arthur. Alright, this isn't good. All right, I'm not faring too good here. What in the world? Stop dancing around and fight. Man, that was god awful. Right, oh shoot, Bill's in trouble. That's the worst fight I ever had. Oh, 
Oh, jeez. Look at the size of this guy. Yeah, I know. I'm afraid to. Oh, God. Uh, I didn't even hurt him. Ow. Oh, no. Oh, ow. Come on, pretty boy. Pretty boy? You're kidding me. Pretty boy? Come on. I ain't even started. Come on, man. Ow. Ow. You okay there, Arthur? Yeah. I got this son of a bitch. Is that right? What you scared of? That's right. Okay, you got it now. Ow, 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 ow. He's big boy. Oh shoot! Get up! I gotta get up! I gotta get up! Sir, you won the fight already. Surely that's enough. What business is it of yours? <laughs> no business. <clears throat> no business, sir. But please, I beg you. Good God. That guy was a mess. He looked like a hunk of hamburger. Making new friends again, I see, Arthur. Look who we found sniffing about. Josiah Trelawney. The very same. <laughs> well... I thought you'd gone to New York. And miss all this glamour. You must be joking. How are you? Well, quite well indeed. I went to Blackwater looking for you gentlemen. You're not very popular there, it seems. Ah! Javier and Charles. I've missed you. And Bill looking as well as can be. Gentlemen, always... A pleasure. You're right. We ain't too popular in Blackwater. We left a lot of money there. And young Sean, it seems. Sean, you found him? Yes, I have. He's being held by some bounty hunters, trying to see how much money the government will pay them. I know he's in Blackwater, but there's talk of them moving. Well, if we stay foot in Blackwater... Uh, ah! Well, then we're dead men for sure. There'll be Pinkertons all over the place, but if he's alive, we gotta try. Yeah, of course. It's you they want, Dutch. Always is. Charles, go find out what you can, carefully. Josiah, take Javier. Arthur, go get yourself cleaned up. Join them when you're ready. Well, what about me? Well, exactly. What about you? What does that mean? Oh, Bill. Come on. Oh, man. I feel like I got hit by a train. Is that a hotel over there? I think they might have a bath. I need one desperately. Welcome. 
Oh, it's, uh, you. Yes, it is. Last time I checked. I, I really don't need any more trouble. I didn't come to make any. I was just protecting a lady. Well, all behind us now, I suppose. So what is it you need? A, a bath, perhaps? Yeah, a bath. Is that that guy in the bathroom? God, he sounds like he's in terrible pain. Is there a Taco Bell in town? You know, normally no, but man, I'm so tired I can hardly scrub myself. Yeah, okay, sure. You can just leave it to me now. I'll be out of your hair in no time. You let me know if you need anything, all right? Sure. Some parts of me probably ain't been this clean in months. Well. So how's it going? Yeah, it's not too bad. Oh, I've been a tough few weeks. Oh, really? Doesn't that feel good now? Sure. All right, I think that should do it. Okay, maybe we'll cross paths again. All righty. Did you clean my clothes for me, too? Evidently she did. Or somebody did. All right, sorry about the trouble, buddy. Thanks for the bath. Well... I told Uncle to take the girls home, so the We're wagon's gone. Uh, I guess I could get one Please of my horses out of the can. stable. <laughs> I wonder if Bodicea's oh, in there. I hope you're not here to cause more <coughs> trouble. What's that guy? Sick or something? I hope you don't harbor a grudge against me. Yeah, it's all about you, buddy. Alright, I'm gonna bring Hal out. Use your Saddle up Hal. Let's get him switched out then. And now Bodicea's here. So now I can put the saddle back on Bodicea. Sure, we'll swap them for you. Alright, good, thank you. Come on, please! Please, somebody, be generous. Show you care. All righty, let's head back to the camp. I'm beat. Literally. I wonder how the father and sons are doing over there. It looks like, looks like they got a fire going. I don't know if that fire means anything. Generally, if you see fire, I know it seems like there's something going on. Something interesting. But in this case, don't know. Why did I do that? Come on, girl. Over. Over. Come on, Bodicea. There we go. Is that gunfire? Uh-oh. What's going on? Take him out. 
They're just two. Nope, there's two left. I guess that's it. Appreciate you stepping in there. Thank you. Those bastards have been turning the screw on me from day one, saying I gotta pay them protection money. Protection money? I told them where to stick it, and well, I guess you just saw how that panned out. You watch yourself, all right? Where's the boys? Are they okay? Loot these guys. Protection from from what? What are they in the mafia or something? <laughs> He's accusing them of not helping. They said they didn't have guns. He didn't give them any guns. I can see both sides in this case. Well, the boys are trying, though. Well, don't feel you have to hang around on my account. No, I'm just looking. Seeing how the progress is coming. You boys okay? They tried to kill us. You'll be all right. Just stick it out. I just want to go back home. I don't blame you. I do, too. You'll be all right. If I could only turn back time and say no to this. Ah, you'll make it. They ain't gonna kill you. Come on, Bodicea. I'm tired. <laughs> you could have come a little closer, girl. She's a little high maintenance, I think. Now, did Dutch say they were going to mark something on my map? Is that what I heard? Maybe not. <sighs> what do we got behind us? What is that? Father. I, I thought my business was done with the father. Um... So we've got Strauss, Kernan, we got the uh, Hosea over here, we've got the Gunslingers, oh, there's where Javier is, he's, oh my god, they're back in Blackwater, and what is that, Bounty Honey, alright, so hey, we can do a Bounty, and then there's something up here, what is this? Oh, Flacco, the other gunslinger. Well, it's all going to start back at the camp, I think. Because I'm tucked. Tuckered. Got some clouds with some water in them, looks like. Although it makes a pretty sunset. What's that on the ground? What is that? What the hell? What is that? Looks like a piece of meat. Oh my god. Is that somebody? That is somebody. What the hell? 
I don't want to walk there and have him bleed on me. Let's go around. Um, what is this? It's the guy's head. He's got a note in his mouth and a uh, knife through his eyeball. Whoa. Oh, you poor bastard. Okay, it says me. And some some kind of a map, a drawing or something. Look on my work. Oh my god. That's sick. Get the hell out of here. Yeah, I ain't gonna be sleeping much tonight. Get as far away from here as I can. Sober up finally. Hey, Arthur. Miss Cass, all good? Too good. I'd like the chance to shoot a fella and not feel bad about it. Somehow that doesn't surprise me. <laughs> Stay alert. Need a Russian girl. All right. How about how about a snack? Need something to eat. All right. For some reason, it won't. Oh, wait a minute. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Give her something to eat. That bed looks awful good. Mr. Morgan! Mr. Morgan! Mr. Pearson? Quite a country. Quite a country. You know, sometimes I'm glad I left the Navy. Too many men. <laughs> Too many men. This world? Far more genteel, huh? <laughs> I never figured running in a bunch of outlaws would be the genteel option. <laughs> well, I've seen things, sir. I've seen terrible things. Okay. <laughs> well, let's, uh, is there a stew pot? Let's see if I can get something to eat. Might be a little early, didn't I just get us something to eat? No, I can get some. Well, there's Uncle treating his lumbago. Leap it off, buddy. That Tilly talking to the preacher. There she is. Hi. Reverend. Hey. 
Joy Mill. I gotta start donating to the camp. Like uh, Arthur, I've got a or uh, like uh, Dutch, I've got a plan though. Some kind of flower. It's ugly. All right. So, have we got our guns on us? No, we don't. Good morning, Arthur. Hey, Dutch. Ourselves a nice shave. You'll work it out, Dutch. You always do. Hello. Hello. All right. Well, um, let's see. What do we need to do? Yeah. Okay. I got a couple things around the camp. Uh. Okay, these are things here with the ammunition, uh, provisions, and the health supplies. This is all stuff that we're supposed to be doing as far as the donating. Um, let's go over and look at the donation box. I did chores yesterday. Somebody else could do some chores today. How are we doing on our... Well, we're moving to the good side. Well, let's see if we've got some items to give. All right, so we got a gold pocket watch. We'll give that. That's worth 10 bucks. Okay, donate. Ten dollars and look, see to the right. We got some good points. Um, if you give, I could give a thousand dollars and I'd only get one good point. If I give it in groups of twenty dollars, I would get one for every time or any anything I give. So it's best if you're going to give. Yep. Morning, dear. Morning, dear. So if you're going to give any amount, like if I was going to give that $90 up there, uh, I'd give it in like groups of 10 or 20. So let's do this again. Just do them one at a time because you get more credit for it that way. Just give them a ring. See? It's time consuming, but if you want to build up your goodie points, that's the way to do it. We got belt buckles, Let's give him a belt buckle. All right, so that's that's good enough for now. I wonder when they get to get the ledger out. They can they've got a ledger that'll come out eventually, and uh, we'll be able to see who's given and who's not given. Is this mine? Yeah, this is mine. Yeah, I don't know if there's anything I'm supposed to do here.
this. Over some poles and whiskey. Good God. Like the Stay away. Of the bay of the Stay away. I began to tumble. Is he following me? More. Go away. The face was as red as a lobster. I fell and broke my poor knobs. I need this right now. The watch was picked from my fobster. Well, let's go do something. Um, we got choices. We got a lot of things to do. Let's get out of camp first. I don't want to be bothered. Well, we got Bodicea up to level two. All right, let's see if I... Did I ever clean that? That one... Okay, that's the uh, show field, and that's the double action. What else we got? We got the sawed-off shotgun and the cattleman. Well, that's odd. The condition doesn't look good. Does that need a cleaning? Oh, hell yeah. It's a friggin' mess. No wonder that thing wasn't shooting anything. I swear I thought I cleaned it. But I guess not. All right, there we go. Now let's look at the calendar, not the calendar. Look at the map here, see what we got. Um, let's go talk to Jose. We'll go talk to Jose. So this uh, quest right here, Breaking Immersion, um, this is the first quest where we'd be able to, uh, we get introduced to a fence. This is the first case we'd be able to sell anything to a fence except for what I did earlier. Uh, I kind of skirted that. Yeah. Now, let me see here. This, this Schofield should be my main gun, but it's not. He's pulling that from the inside. Okay, so uh, if I take if I take the guns and swap them like that. Wait, is that the? Oh, that's, that's not the double action. There we go. Now the double action. Now, wait a minute. Okay, let me pull a gun. Now he's pulling it out of that one. Why is it not pulling the, the Schofield out? I'd rather have the Schofield as my main gun. Well, that's just crazy. Let me try this again. Uh, Schofield, double action. Okay. Why is this, why is the double action got a white bar on the inside? Let me switch that again. That means it's always going to be my main one, isn't it? That's odd. That's just really odd. All right, we'll put express shells in. All right, just get on the road. We're wasting time. I think that's the guy doing uh, target practice up there, right there. 
I don't really want to mess with that. He's going to try to get me to contest with him. Somebody's horse running loose. Wonder where the rider's at. What I give for a horse as fine as that. Yeah, I earned it. <laughs> I had to go break it. Hunt it down. All right, what's with this? This old wagon. Is that a campfire? Somebody's been camping out here. Huh. Is that a lockbox under there? Don't know. Now, it sure looks like it. It certainly does, but it doesn't look like it's going to let us do anything with it. Inspect. Ginseng elixir. Jewelry. Chewing tobacco. Looks like um, we can't carry any more of that. Uh, chewing tobacco. Kentucky bourbon. Uh, same with that. We can't uh, can't do anything because we're already full up. littering bad us all right well we got a little bit of stuff there if you're full up on something let's say there's five items in that chest i've noticed that if you're full up on something you just stop looking that doesn't quite seem right smoke ahead it's probably a camp where you ride up and they start shooting at you seems to be a lot of that anyway it's um I'm finding that there's a lot of stuff that if you stop, you might find something. You might not. But just like that old wagon. How long has that old wagon been sitting there? And it had a few good things in it. Had some jewelry in it. That's worth some money. Sorry. Watch where you're going. Well, this is all new territory. We haven't been here before. I don't think. What kind of ranch? Emerald Ranch. 
Heartlands. We're in the Heartlands. New Hampshire? It is a Heartlands NH. I'm thinking that's New Hampshire. Interesting very well. It's trusting I don't do so well. Please. I know how to work with good people, Seamus, and I work in the right way. Well, they all say that. I never met an idiot that called himself one. Hi, this is Seamus. He's our new partner. I ain't no such thing. Prospective new partner, if he likes us. Liking ain't the problem. Trusting is, as I said. Keep your voices down. I don't want my boss hearing. This is a sideline. Of course. Look at us. Honest as the day is long. Exactly. I'll tell you what. Let us prove ourselves. Prove ourselves? To this clown? What you talking about? Good day, Hosea. Good luck with your business dealings. Listen. Uh, he's rough and ready and quick with his tongue, but I swear you can trust him and trust me. I'm an old man. You're not old, Seamus. I'm old enough. And you know why I ain't dead? You don't trust idiots. Exactly. We're not idiots. Let us prove it to you. Okay, I'll tell you what. Arthur! Old Bob Crawford and his boys just bought a beautiful stolen stagecoach from upstate. It's in their barn. Now you go get that, and then we can work together. Who's old Bob Crawford? An acquaintance of mine. So you want us to take out your competition? Well, he, he's not just an acquaintance, but a cousin by marriage. I also want to see if you boys got what it takes. Now you survived that. Where is he? Well, he's in a farmhouse just northwest of here called Karma de Dell. It's just up the train tracks as you're heading up towards Fort Wallace. There's also some money in that house, but that's your business, not mine. But don't kill nobody. Folks know we ain't intimate no more, and they'll know it was me. But you're fine with us robbing your cousin. By marriage. And yes, I'd love it. You heard the man. Let's go rob his cousin. By marriage. Where's Bodicita? I didn't tie Bodicita up. That's the best horse I ever had. Tied himself up. Don't run over me, Hosea. Really? Really. Lead the way. He said the place is just northwest of here. Me? You're the one who's been out gallivanting around here. That's what you call it. Well, clearly you've recovered from your bear encounter. Could have played that better, couldn't you? Thought you wanted me here to show some strong arm. That's usually how it goes. Yes, but you know how this works. Come on, Hosea. That feather's a joke. And that's why he's perfect. He won't cause us any problems. A safe spot to fence wagons and coaches? That's easy money for us. I guess you're right. Come on, it's not like he's asking us to rob a bank. If the two of us can't steal a stagecoach from Seamus' old crooked cousin by marriage, we should hang up our hats now. I guess. I guess. So what's the story with that Emerald Ranch? You find out anything else? A little. Owner's a nasty type by all accounts. Seamus is sure scared of him. That's not saying much. Something strange about the place. Used to be a saloon there, general store. Now it's all closed up, but they seem to have money. Sounds worth a look around. For sure. Seamus also mentioned the rancher's daughter a couple of times. How he used to see her around all the time, but now she never leaves the house. Probably just sweet on her. That what you call finding out a little? Once he opens up, Seems Seamus does like to talk. Hopefully not too much. Right, I think this is it. There's a railroad track. Oh, wait a minute. He said beyond the railroad track, didn't he? Here we go, up in the trees. Easy. 
Take the marker off. Could be the place up ahead. We should go on foot from here. Let's see what we're dealing with. Come on. Aren't you afraid of stepping on a snake or something in this tall grass? I know I am. There's the house. I see the barn in the back. Stagecoach has to be in there. Okay. Yeah, you're probably right. It's not something you'd leave out in the open. Okay, let's take a quick look. The place. Okay, somebody on the porch. Anyone around? Yes. Okay. I reckon we can do it now. I'll head over, distract him by putting on a little show while you sneak into the house, find what you can, then get the stagecoach. Or wait until nightfall. Sneak in, then I'll get the coach. You can try the house. What do you think? <laughs> I'd rather go at night. Let's wait. Okay, let's go. Sure. You go into the house. I'll go find this wagon. Okay. Maybe take a peek through the windows before you go in. Make sure it's all quiet. Right. What's the fire going over there for? Are they doing some branding? Why'd they leave the fire going? Seems a little dangerous. Nice fire going on the inside. Boots on the porch. All right, let's see what we can find here. Is that an oven? Fireplace? What is that? What do we get there? Whoa, $150. Holy smokes. Oh shit, there's somebody in here. Money. Another twelve bucks. Okay, shut it up. We don't want anybody to think. Okay, Kentucky bourbon, but we've already got all we can handle. necklace, another money clip, close it up, god do I dare go upstairs, Let's 
Get the hell out of here. A carrot. I don't need a carrot. Get on, dear boy. Come on, get on and let's head back. We did pretty good, eh, Hosea? I got quite a bit of money. Yeah, when you're looting stuff, I find it best that if you close it back up, because the first thing that happens is if they wake up, like take a whiz or something middle of the night and they see everything opened up, they're gonna know they've been robbed. Nicely done. We got everything we needed. And I'm pretty sure they never even knew I was there. Yes, we. Less problems the better right now. Just need to get this back to Seamus in one piece and it's a good night's work. So what were you able to lift from the house? Found some money stashed away. Must be a few hundred, not too bad. Not bad at all. This was easier than hunting a thousand pound grizzly anyway. <laughs> no doubt. I won't forget that in a hurry. I'm looking forward to your retelling of that one around the campfire. <laughs> it wasn't the first time Mr. Matthews had stared death in the eye. And as usual, he did not flinch. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> How long you think we're gonna stick around here? Not sure. Until we can't, I suppose. Feels like we're starting to get back on our feet, slowly but surely. Just need to keep at it. Dutch has a new money chest stashed in a safe spot away from camp, but it's a long way from being full. Okay, here we are. Just pull the coach into the barn there. Yep. Hello, Seamus. We met your cousins. How was it? Fine. Nice people. Mm. Park that thing in here. Quickly. I'm trying. Uh, nice work, Hosea. It was mostly Arthur. Like I said, coarse, but competent. Here. Thank you. If you find any other coaches that need selling, I'll see what I can offer you for it. But discreet, you know. Of course. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'm heading back to camp, I think. You coming? Yep. Sure. Do we know how much we made? made a little bit of money and the good news is we Easy. now if we find a wagon we can sell it or if we rob a stagecoach or anything like that sweet 300 bucks I got 75 bucks out of it Okay, so he can craft talismans and trinkets for us. Arthur. Yeah. Dutch, I need you to do me a favor. What's that? Nothing too serious. I need you to help Herr Strauss. I've been working hard, Dutch. I know. And I know Strauss's business is not too glamorous, but it pays. Please, son, for me. Okay. All right. You're going to catch the camp on fire, Dutch. Come on. Oh, is he still drunk? Get away from me. How you been keeping over there? Right. 
11 o'clock. been watching this house in town. Rich family lives there. I became convinced, as you do, that the place was full of loot. Of course. <laughs> I know the feeling. Oh. It starts to call you that thing in your stomach. Take me. Wrong. Yeah. <laughs> I want to be in your pocket. Silver, gold, all the good things in existence. Uh, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> so... I'm watching the house for a few hours, and it's as quiet as a grave. I become convinced it's empty. I ask around, uh, people ain't been seen. So... For some reason, I must be getting sloppy. I just... walk right in. Right into a wake for their dead Uncle McCarby. No! Oh, yes! Oh, what'd you do? I froze. Then, uh, then I, I saw his name, and I became McCarby's best friend they never knew about. Ha, <laughs> ha, somehow I winged it, <laughs> and let them lead me into being McCarby's former gold prospecting friend from back in 76. By the end of the <laughs> evening, we were laughing together and crying. It was very sad. He was a lovely man, old McCarby. <laughs> but you still robbed them, huh? You heartless bastard. Oh. Of course I didn't. <laughs> I robbed the priest, but not the fan. <laughs> <laughs> That's okay, then. <laughs> nice story, Hosea. You're a pair of old fools. Hey, Uncle. Arthur? All good there, Pearson? Still need more food, Mr. Morgan. Yeah, you should a word. try your luck again with that oh, bowl. Oh, rabbits die hard. Just so long as you ain't making me dress up like an idiot. Anyway, I won't disturb you. Thanks. Well, I have plenty to do here. And again, I'm the only one that's going out hunting. All right, it's after 11. I'm going to hit the hay. I don't see anybody else around doing anything. Looks like everybody's sleeping. Well, not everybody. There must be some some folk out uh, garden. John's buttoned up for the night. He hasn't actually done any damn thing, has he? Well, let me take a good look here. We we got to talk to Leopold Strauss and what else? We got the gunslingers. We got to go get uh Sean, that's what that is. Uh, Sean's been captured in Blackwater, and uh, we're supposed to meet uh, Javier and um, Trelawney. Trelawney. What's his name? Trelawney. But you know what? I think that's a story for another day. I think we're done for the night. We get up in the morning, we'll talk to Strauss to see what he's got going. And then we'll decide where to go. I think what I need to do is talk to Strauss in the morning. And then pop pop over and uh, help them rescue Sean and get him home. And then we can go after some gunslingers. Yeah, that sounds like a plan, as Dutch, Dutch would say. And before I do, before I go to sleep, let's uh, take a look at the journal. Let's see what we got in here. Okay, we got uh, raspberries, yarrow, rabbit, a donkey. There's that donkey. Some wild carrots. Uh, creeping thyme. Oh, there's the little old lady we met. Met a lady scientist, Deborah something or other. Seemed to be more mad than sane, but 
I don't have much frame of reference for scientists. Wanted me to see I could help her find dinosaur bones and send her the details. Maybe. Met an idiot hunting for treasure. Bought a map off him. Wonder if I'll find anything. There's that uh, grave that was defiled. Took a day off, went hunting with Hosea. He really seems to be getting his strength back a bunch. Although he was lucky not to die as this big bear he'd been uh, after turned on us. I thought when, I w when we was struck up, stuck up in the mountains that the cold and the misery would kill him and we'd bury him like we buried Jenny and Davy. But he pulled through and he'll live a while yet. I love Dutch like a father, but in many ways I love Hosea even more. He's kind and fair and like a human being. Dutch is something else. This bear was also something else. Size of a goddamn hotel. It was and mean with it. Met some old drunk in Valentine, claimed he was a shootist. Seemed more like a clown. Some poor fool was writing a book about him, and or trying to anyway. Levin was the name of the writer. Jim Calloway was the killer. Apparently Levin needs more information. Asked me to find a new folk who have spent more time in pub publicity than me and knew old Jack back in the day he was a real killer. Their names are Emmett Granger, Flacco Hernandez, Billy Midnight, and Black Bell. Sound like a troop of clowns. We shall see what kinds of people those who want to be famous murderers is. My hopes are not too high. Is that Bodicea? Headed into Valentine with Uncle and the girls. The girls went scouting out work while Uncle and I had a few drinks, and he explained more of his theories on existence and barefaced lies about his past. Things took a strange turn. Some fellow seemed to recognize me, or us, from Blackwater. Guess we had been holed up there too long while Hosea and I scouted the job that went, never was. I chased the bastard. He neatly fell off a cliff. I spared him, gave, and he gave me an ink pen. I hope I won't regret my leniency, but I reckon he got the scare of his life. Jimmy Brooks was his name. Told him I wouldn't forget. Sun, slow down the sky Found an odd-looking corpse. Something stuffed into the mouth. Couldn't make sense of it. Alright, that's... That's all of that. I think I've already... Uh, Yeah, I've already done all of this. There we go. That's where we started. Okay. Well, a little bit of light reading before we go to bed. I'm going to call it a night. I'll see you tomorrow.